Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some personal things that you would never have known about me. Unless, of course, I told you, <laughs> which I will. So here are a few things about me as a toddler. Let's begin. So uh, when I was very young, about maybe 13, 14 months old, I would take a stroll from our house in the Khartoum. It was a rented house, but there were about three families living in the house, all, all related, of course, uh, down to the uh, coffee house or the smoke house. And I would do this wearing only my diaper, of course. Um, and my family discovered, especially my mother, they would run down to find me. But there was a Yemenite owner uh, of the coffee house or the smokehouse who would greet me in Arabic and seat me at a table, uh, of course, uh, giving me the usual, which I ordered in Arabic, Coca-Cola and uh, halva. So, uh, of course, I never paid for it because I never had any money, but he didn't really care. He would, you know, just oblige me. And I guess, you know, the Arabs would enjoy having me around. And so I would drink, I would eat my halva and Coca-Cola and, 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 be, and be on my way, unless, of course, my mother happened to find me before I got back. So I would do this <clears throat> on a number of occasions. Um, anytime I needed a sweet fix or, uh, you know, a little drink and obviously a Coca-Cola. So that's an interesting thing that I used to do. Then um, uh, we used to picnic on the banks of the uh, Blue and White Nile, a little place which we called uh, in Greek, Todasaki, which means the little forest. And I'll tell you that the green bell peppers that were cultivated there were of exquisite flavor. The, the aroma, the flavor, uh, in every respect, I've never tasted anything like those peppers anywhere else in my almost 60 years of life on this planet so that was something i i still remember and you know in greece the fruit and the vegetables are of exquisite quality but i think that even the greek bell peppers don't reach the quality of the nile river bell peppers or the ones that are cultivated along the nile river I used to have a phobia of incomplete spheres as a toddler. I don't know why, but I guess most of us don't know why we have phobias as young children. But my rather sadistic older brother would uh, terrorize me by chasing me around, uh, around the house and especially around a hedge we had in our back garden with a rubber soccer ball that had been cut in half. And this phobia lasted till I was almost five years of age. The next thing <clears throat> is that I played hide and seek often with the entire house household. All the three families would, you know, uh, would look for me. I would sneak away unnoticed and a frantic search would be initiated by everyone. And it was usually my oldest brother, my oldest brother who would find me. You know, and, and of course, the, the, the record was five hours when I hid in a barrel. And of course, it would have been longer had I not chuckled uh, because I was amused hearing my brother pacing up and down. <laughs> so he ended up finding me then. But I think that was one of the probably the last times as I had exhausted all the hiding places. <clears throat> I was very fair haired, in fact, almost blonde. As a, as a child 
and they would call me the little German in Greek, Doyarmanaki. And gradually, uh, my blonde hair changed color. And uh, of course, you know, uh, out of my siblings, I have five siblings, two brothers and three sisters. Uh, we're all from the same father and mother, obviously, because uh, there were no milkmen. And if they were, they would have all been Arabs. So uh, there's no chance that my mother was uh, sleeping around. And of course, she was a virgin. Now, my paternal grandfather had deep blue eye colors, a, a, a deep blue eye color, colored eyes. And the sad thing, though, is that he had pedophile tendencies, as I later learned from my father. No, he didn't sexually abuse my father, but he did some things which today would be considered, let's say, not very kosher. Now, uh, the next thing was that my paternal grandfather would seat me on his lap and cuddle me. I guess he did really love me, uh, but I felt uncomfortable. And every time without fail, after a little while, as he took a sip of his Turkish coffee, I would spill it on his shirt and then run quickly towards my mother. <laughs> as he yelled at me in Greek, Kerata, re kerata. And of course, I won't translate that, but it's not very flattering. Uh, and without fail, I did this many, many times. I can't even count how many times, but he never learned his lesson. <laughs> and I just kept doing the same thing. So anyway, uh, I used to suffer from fevers frequently, almost every month, and nobody really knows why. And while whilst I was born with perfect eyesight, at the age of two, after a very long period of fever, my eyes squinted, a really bad squint, and I underwent several eye operations to correct the strivious mus. But <clears throat> I never really regained perfect coordination between my two eyes. So, for example, I could never have become a star tennis player because I would see two balls or a blurred ball. But I was pretty good at playing things like volleyball because that was a pretty big ball and it was easy to see and, and hit. As a result, it's impossible for me to see things like hallucin art where, you know, images pop out at you. Uh, most people with normal eyes can see that sort of thing. They can see that sort of thing. Okay. So I was named after my uncle John Gabriel, who drowned in the Nile River. He was a good swimmer, but occasionally he would experience cramps. And on his 18th birthday, he decided to take a swim. And that was when he lost his life. Um, he drowned in the Nile River, uh, and my paternal grandmother apparently lost a vision in her left eye after his death. Now, here's the irony. My uncle was named after my great-grandfather, John Gabriel, who died in Cyprus. <laughs> and at age 24, I had a vasectomy. So that means I am the end of the John Gabriel line. <laughs> Out of all six children in my family. I'm the only one without any offspring. Uh, so let's see. And those are eight things you probably didn't know about me. There's, there's much more I could share, but I think I'll leave it at that now. And uh, as you can see, I kept my promise and revealed a little bit more about myself. There is a lot more I could share. I just hate writing, though. And I've been asked, been, uh, not asked, but uh, encouraged to write a biography. But I don't think it would be that interesting. In fact, it would be rather depressing because I've led quite a roller coaster of a life. Um, been in many places of the world experienced a lot of depression, traumatic events. So it wouldn't really be that interesting. And I don't think I could do it with my eyes 
in the state that they are right now. So that's pretty much it. I'll try to get back to mathematics in another video if I'm able to sometime in the future. This is a new calculus channel and I'm John Gabriel. Till next time, goodbye.